coming for us? I'm Taryn, this is Logan, and this is Max. Join us as we live and sail in the Pacific Northwest on our 40-foot steel sailboat. Last week, we left off after arriving at a group of islands just south of Alert Bay. The water was so calm at night that we could see the reflection of the stars and moon on it. These islands also had an insane current that ran through them. Caught our anchor, our anchor chain. This would not be a good place to fall in the water. I'm not quite sure that the dinghy invited the log over, but it's here and it looks to be enjoying its time. It's also creating quite a current. See the current? See it? Well, here we are in another absolutely magnificently beautiful anchorage waking up this morning. Oh, oh there's an eagle right there. Didn't even see him. Just hanging out on a branch stretching his wings out. See him up there? So we're only about, I don't know, two hours from Port McNeil right now. An hour and a half. Two hours. But and we're even less than that, we're 20 minutes from Alert Bay. But it's just so different waking up here compared to waking up in the city, the town. It's just the peace and the tranquility and what that does for your mental health. It's just crazy. There is a lot of current that runs through here for sure. And so the way that the islands are configured, they kind of make little bays, but not really they open on either end, so a bunch of current runs through here. I don't know, at least four or five knots running through here now. And there is so much debris coming in as well. But last night we had sea lions that were chasing fish like against our hull. And we kept hearing them underwater, it was crazy. We couldn't see them, but we could hear them. And this morning there's little fish jumping in here. Kingfishers, obviously that eagle that screamed at me and a lot of seaweed. Thank you. There's two eagles up here now. One's being attacked by a crow. Oh yeah, because it just moved, it was over there. Yeah, oh, two crows. <laughs> Not happy. No, I think they have a nest over there. Oh, and the crows win. So we woke up this morning and I was watching a big ball of kelp go floating by and I noticed that we could see the bottom in, what are we, 23 feet? Yeah. 23 feet of water? And then I noticed that we could see our anchor set in the sand, <laughs> but it's beside us, which is kind of crazy because there's a lot of current in here. Yeah, it's the first time we've been able to see our anchor set in the bottom. This is the first time that the water's been clear enough this summer to actually be able to see through it like that, which is pretty crazy. So the water that's coming through here right now is pretty much water from the Johnstone Strait and then from the Queen Charlotte Sound, which leads right out into the Pacific. So everywhere else that we've been has been like up an inlet. So the water in here is just probably a lot cleaner than it has been everywhere else and there's less growth in it, I guess. But it's, yeah, it's interesting. I think it's pretty cold water and cold water here is generally clear. Yeah. Plus there's no rivers or anything coming into this area. So you don't get the fresh water mixing with the salt water or helicopters. You do get helicopters. You do get helicopters. This area was unfortunately in a no-fly zone, so I couldn't send the drone up, but I'm sure it would have been looking amazing from the air. Our friends who we anchored beside had an awesome boat for fishing and offered to take us with them to go find some salmon.
Even before we caught any salmon, we were spotting wildlife. So we just saw, I don't even know how many humpbacks, quite a few. There was one pretty close in front of us, right where we saw the one last time we came through here sailing. And then there's got to be at least three out right in front of the boat. And then there was another one off to the starboard side. So that's really cool. That's a good sign. I think this spot's usually pretty good for fishing because there's so many crazy currents that come through here. Sea lions? To port? Yeah, yeah sea lions. Well, we don't have the lions in the water yet and we've already seen numerous humpbacks, sea lions, and porpoises. So, oh, and seagulls trying to grab our, our stuff. So, that's a good sign. There's definitely fish out here. No, those are white-sided dolphins, I think. Are they? Yeah. Oh my god, they're, oh, they are doll's porpoises. Holy crap! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was so cool! Oh, this is the best. They're trying to steal the lures. Oh, and the fish are jumping. Fighting it, eh? <clears throat> yeah, that'd be sweet. Something shiny. Keep that right. Look at all the sea lice on them. Sorry. Supper, we got supper. Yay! Good Salmon tacos for dinner. Woo woo! We caught four pink and one coho salmon that day and cooked one of the pinks that night for tacos. That night we made salmon tacos with sourdough soft taco shells and it was amazing. Well, we woke up this morning to some fog, but also sunshine, <laughs> and it's so beautiful. And yesterday was an absolutely perfect day. So yesterday we went out on our friend's dinghy, kind of, and we went fishing, and they really know what they're doing because they used to run charters, but they don't, they don't run charters anymore. So we went looking for salmon. We got four pink salmon and one coho which is way more salmon than we've ever caught. Um, they were super nice and gave us four pinks and they kept the coho. And we cooked one of the pinks for dinner and made fish tacos with it. It was just amazing. I've never seen that many whales. It was all humpbacks just feeding and hanging out in the same area. Apparently that's pretty common, but we've never seen it. They were just kind of like, yeah, this is what happens. <laughs> But yeah, we were very appreciative of them taking us out and sharing their knowledge because we don't, we just don't have it. And we can't, we can't really troll in this boat the same way. We have a hard time getting it slow enough actually to troll. And theirs, it was just like absolutely no problem. So that was cool. We fish because 
to us being able to provide our own food for ourselves is freedom. Not needing to depend on other people for our survival is a big, big, big thing. So that's the main reason that we want to learn to fish is so that we can live off of our surroundings, which also cuts down a ton on the amount of plastic that we use. It cuts down on resources because we use next to no fuel getting that food. That's our main reason for wanting to catch salmon. It's not for the sport of fishing. It's not to brag about the kind of fish that we caught or anything like that. It's because it's the most sustainable way that we can see to live when we live in a northern climate on the ocean is to catch ocean food. Yeah, it was really exciting to actually see our freezer fill up a little bit and to know that we actually had food to sustain ourselves with. Food that's fresh and that comes directly from somewhere that you know or that you've grown yourself or collected yourself, it just tastes better. Like we had the salmon tacos last night and I didn't even want sugar. And I'm like a sugar addict. Like Logan was like, do you want to eat some candy after? And I was like, I don't, I'm not even, I don't even feel like that would taste good right now. That's super rare for me, but it happens over and over and over again when we eat seafood directly. So that's, that's pretty cool. Despite the fact that we were able to catch five fish this one day, the salmon numbers were low this year, and a lot of the decline in these fish has been directly attributed to fish farming. Many farms in both the Discovery Islands and Broughton Archipelago are being phased out, and with that phase out comes the hopes that the salmon populations will rebound. All right, so we're out exploring again, taking Max for a walk, and looking for nodding onions and sea asparagus. We found some sea asparagus, but it doesn't look very good. And now we're up here looking for nodding onions or some other kind of onions. But haven't had much luck yet today. So along the coast here they have RCAs they're called, which are rockfish conservation areas, and there's a ton of them. And obviously the idea is that a lot of the rockfish areas get pretty fished out, so having these RCAs where you're not allowed to fish, it helps bring back the population. Because the nature so slowly. Yeah. Some species mature really slowly, some don't. But we are looking at a ton of little fish right now that we're pretty sure are like juvenile rockfish. And we're in an RCA. This whole area out here is an RCA. So if those are baby rockfish, we can assume that the RCA concept is working well because there's so many new little rockfish. So we don't get to eat them, but the seals still get to eat them. But they're looks like they're doing really well, so that's awesome. Super cool to see. The area where we found our berries and onions was also the only area where the current made getting in the water safe. So despite how incredibly cold it was, we made use of this spot and enjoyed the water on a sunny day. We went back and forth from the islands quite a few times in these two weeks. And one of those times we got a pretty cool wildlife show. Oh, are they coming for us? Oh my god! Holy shit! What a show! They're hunting something. Is that porpoises or dolphins? Those are dolls porpoises. Are they? Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> 
Wow. Yeah, there's four of them. How cool was that? <laughs> That night at the marina was eerie, with a dense fog that socked in all around us. What do you guys think of Port McNeil so far? Oh, there we go. Well, I think that we have finally arrived. <laughs> this is where we should spend the rest of our lives. <laughs> we walked around the small town, fighting the urge to video a horror movie in this weather. The next morning, we filled up with fuel from the portable diesel hose at North Island Marina before sailing slowly to Sointula. Hi YouTube land, I'm Kara Barter and I'm Tim Shan from Lapa Lance. I'm really excited to be out on Kwakwakwak territory here with Logan and Taryn and super happy to meet you. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. <laughs> This is my husband, Jamie. Go ahead and introduce yourself, Hi, I'm Jamie. Jamie. Happy to be on the boat here with uh, Karen and Logan the Wayward Life. Just loving life on the sailboat. What do you think, Jamie? I'm actually not thinking a lot. I'm just letting it all come in. We spent the night anchored in front of Sointula and then headed out the next day to go and explore. Are you guys excited to try to find some whales? Yeah. I hope yeah. we see orcas today. Yeah, me too. Amazing. I'll settle for porpoises because I missed them. <laughs> yeah, twice. You missed them twice. I missed them twice. Yeah. Maybe I just need to go I have to go down decks and then. Right. Yeah. Can you and go find some? Yeah, and then they'll come. And then I'll pop up. Yeah. Surprise! <laughs> so we're just heading south on the island here. We're going to go back, I think, to that anchorage that we stayed at the other night. It's sunny right where we are too, but it's raining over near where we're going, so we're hoping that the cloud is moving in the same direction that we are and is going to be moving away from us so we don't get rained on. There was a minky whale just came up beside the boat, and of course it wasn't filming it. It came up but, right Oh my there. god, like, that was that so close. Water? Oh my god. That was really cool. There it is! <gasps> That's a minky? That's oh. totally a minky. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jamie managed to land a beautiful salmon for dinner. If you can bring him... My neck kind of sucks. You know she's gonna... Oh! Wow. It's a big fish. Okay, we need to identify that. Kara, what do you think about sailing? I love it. Yeah? Yes. It's so quiet. You can hear the birds. And... Yeah. Yeah, it's my favorite. What about the whales? They're pretty cool too. <laughs> I could see some more whales. I really want to see orcas. Well, we got 
spent what an hour and a half, two hours of sailing in? Yeah. A couple hours we saw minke whales, humpback whales, porpoises of some sort, possibly two kinds of porpoises, and orcas from a very far distance. I'm pretty sure they were transient. Pretty cool. Not too bad. Not quite as much wildlife as I thought we'd see, but you know, can't complain. That's a pretty good range of whales. Yeah, and we just lost our wind just now, so we're heading back into the Pierce Islands to go anchor for tonight. That night we had salmon tacos and salmon ceviche from our fresh catch and still had lots to go into the freezer. The next day we brought Kara and Jamie back to Port McNeil and then headed straight back to the Pierce Islands. Join us next week as we head back into the Broughtons to explore some more. And as always, thanks so much for supporting us through liking, subscribing, and commenting. And if you want to keep up with us in real time, we would love for you to join us over on Patreon.